Do you guys want a diamond tactic that averages 60% possession and can work with pretty much any team? If you do, then do stick around. So guys, it is Josh from FM Scout, and today I'm going to be bringing you a slightly different tactics video. I've seen the comments, you know, we're doing a lot of 4 2 3 ones, we're doing a lot of 4 3 threes, and truth be told, that is because they are the best tactics and the best formations. But today, I am going to be switching it up and offering something a little bit different for those who are bored of using that, and possibly like something different in the game. And this is going to be a sort of diamond tactics, a little bit different. It's not got two up top, it's one that I've created a few days ago, and personally, I've got really good results of it. We're going to be testing with four viewer team suggestions, and we've got Got good results across the board on all of them so i'm bringing it to you and hopefully you can replicate the same success if you do enjoy these videos be sure to leave a like on this one comment below on any any tactics you might want to see whether that be a tactic from a manager or a tactic is in just a formation and also please do also comment the teams you want to be seen tested with so then the first team is going to be flamingo now this is a team which i don't believe we've tested with on this channel i have on my personal channel but this is going to be quite a good I, I love playing in different divisions as i always say every video it's a ton of fun to read your suggestions they're always in divisions i never usually go into so it's always an eye opener and we absolutely dominated this one we're talking 97 points compared to second place is 78 we're going to have Brazilian, obviously, national first division champions. Also, the championship, the winners in the um, championship playoff final and the Super Cup. We scored 76 goals and only conceded 18. If we look at the schedule here, it works in a very unique way, this division. So, obviously, you go through here, you've got the Rio State, you've got the Super Cup, obviously, as well, which we did win. Um, You get the Rio State, then you obviously get the semi finals, the, the playoff leg, the final leg, et cetera, et cetera. You then go into the first division. And then, you know, that goes on for a little bit more, but there's so much going on in this division. As you can see, we didn't lose a lot of games at all across every single competition we played in. Only a very small amount of games compared to what we actually played. And I like this sometimes, you know, a different league, a different way of playing, switches it up a little bit, you know. And since it's my first time actually in a while playing in it, I wasn't entirely sure what to expect, but overall very happy with the results. 37 goals coming in from Barbosa. Pedro coming in with 24, 15 for Polgar. Franca coming in with 12. Um, Gomez coming in with 12, 11 for Arasquita, I believe that's how you say that. 10 coming in for Hugo. Enrique coming in with 10. 10 for Ribeiro. And Vidal coming in with 9. And also 7 from Maya. Now, this is very impressive because this onwards, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We've got 9 players scoring over 10 goals. Obviously, this point upwards, a lot more than 10 goals. But that is what we want to be seeing because typically in a diamond sort of tactic, it is mainly the four players or only sort of one of them that does really get involved. But this time we're seeing a nice variety of players getting involved. And I've got to explain why you possibly can expect to be seeing this happening because the tactic is set up in a certain way to achieve this. In terms of assists, we're going to have 17 coming in from Gomez, Lucas with 16, 14 for Mafizinho, Ribeiro coming in with 13, 12 for Hugo, um, 10 here, 8, 7, 6, 6, 6, 5. So, I mean, again, we're looking at a ton of players contributing with the assists, which is, which is exactly what we want to be seeing. We'll go over to the data hub quickly then, and we can see here we're going to have two goals per game and only conceded 0.47. So that alone is a very good stat line. You then add in the pass completion. You can also expect this to be roughly between 89 to 92%. Um, I'd say more on an average, it's going to be around 90% across all of the saves as a rough ballpoint figure. In terms of the actual goals conceded, is the real standout one for me here. And I feel like this is a mixture of the fact, obviously, it defends very well anyway, but also because you have so much of the ball, I mean, we're talking between 58 and 62% possession over these four seasons. Also, the pass completion. So you're completing a lot of passes, meaning that you are holding on to the ball quite well, as obviously all the passes you're doing are being completed. And I feel like that also makes it very difficult to break down this tactic with because when you have the ball you don't really you don't really lose it too too often and typically when you lose it it might be because you've created a chance and it either goes in therefore the possession's been lost or you not miss the chance etc etc it's very rarely you get caught out lacking with this tactic we then go over to the mls which is always a nice lead to test in you know unfortunately with this one it is a challenge it is going to be a viewer suggestion that is going to be into Miami, who were predicted to finish quite low in the division, a lot lower than what I actually expected. They're going to be predicted to finish in 10th place. Unfortunately, I feel like we have been done a little bit dirty here because we actually ranked best in goals scored and conceded. We managed to finish third place, and it all comes down to three points. Obviously, one game is in it. So it is a very, very good season, in my opinion. And the only reason why I'm a little bit annoyed is because obviously we rank best here. So usually the way it works is the, the best category here usually finishes on top, or if, if not, at least in second. But unfortunately, you know, 
it is what it is. A third place finish is still very impressive. It's obviously seven places up compared to what we should have finished in. And we were so close to actually winning the entire division. But we'll move on. We're not going to cry about it. We'll go into the squad. In terms of the goals, we're going to have 32 goals coming in from Higuain. Pazilio coming in with 11. Seven for Duque. Sailor coming in with four. Four for Mota. Um, Mabakia coming in with three. Three coming in for Ola, I believe is how you say that. So not as many goals in terms of overall players um, getting involved in terms of the assists. We're still going to have a few contributions just not as high. We can look at this point onwards. So we've got 4, 4, 4, 5, 6, 6, 10, and 12. So overall, not as many goals. But if we look at the schedule again, it was reasonably promising as well. So obviously you go to the MLS. Um, we went on a little bit of a bad spree here, being honest with you. I'm going to show you guys this now as well, because I'm 100% honest with how these tactics do operate. But overall, it was still a very, very good season. Um, if you look at I'll scroll up entirely. It's predominantly wins and the occasional draw here and there that, you know, managed to get us this place. But if we take a couple of these out, you know, if we pinpoint, for example, literally any one of these, if we look at this one, which we lost in the 57th minute. If we win that, we possibly win the entire division. So it comes down to very, very small things. And these are things which I think could be tweaked if you're actually playing the games instead of, you know, simulating them. In terms of the general performance, we're going to be looking at 1.86 goals per game and 0.8 conceded. So still very, very good. Obviously, we're scoring over a goal compared to what we're conceding. And the pass completion still roughly around 90%, which is very impressive considering this side wasn't the best, in my opinion, when it comes to passes and also wasn't the best in terms of actual general quality compared to the other teams in the division. So I'm going to take this. I mean, the league position, I feel like we, we honestly were so close to winning the league. So it's a little bit annoying, but overall still a very, very good season. Over to Club America. Now, this was a viewer suggestion, so hopefully you've not waited too long for this one. Um, I've seen this commented a couple of times. It was on a video from quite a while back, and also the video we uploaded last time in terms of a tactics video. And this was a very, very good display. We also won um we won the division opening stage and the Mexican first division closing stage, and also scoring 104 goals and only conceding 17. And this is what made me laugh because it's gonna be the keeper actually getting the highest match rate. And now we didn't get dominated in these games at all because we actually put on a very, very good display. So that's that's quite an interesting one. It's going to be Rodriguez with 36 goals, but we'll have a little bit more of a look at now. Going to the goals then, so we're going to have 36 coming in from Rodriguez. Um, Fidaglo coming in with not, um, 19, 16 coming in from Valdez, Martin with 10. We're going to be looking at Sanchez with five. We've got five coming in for Rodriguez, Aquino coming in with five. Um, then it does drop off a little bit here. In terms of the assists, we've got 15 coming in for Valdez, Fidiglio coming in with 14, nine for Aquino, Sanchez coming in with eight. Eight coming in for Santos. Lara coming in with six, five, five. So quite a few assisters in this division as well. We are seeing a nice mixture. Not as many. And it is quite interesting to see how it differentiates, you know. Like in some leagues, um, you get the opportunity to sort of score more goals. But because these are sort of broken up, I'm not sure if that's why. Again, it's very interesting playing in these divisions. Because obviously, you get your typical friendlies. You then go through here. You've got to have the opening stages, which we've done very, very well with. I mean, we went over two months here. Three months if you include the friendlies. I will actually lose in any games we then lose a game here unfortunately we bounce back here very very well with some good games here another loss here we then go on a what is going to be a four win spree one loss here and then it's all wins again so over the entire season we lost one two three three games the entire season which is absolutely incredible stuff i mean we're talking several games played here and it's only going to be and if i believe it's a one nil there a 1-0 there, and a 1-0 there. So the defence was ridiculously solid. We literally lost three games, and they were all by only a goal. So that is definitely stuff you can tweak. And you could easily have had an invincible season, including the friendlies. In terms of the data hub, then, we're going to be looking at 2.6 goals per game, which is very, very impressive. And we're pretty much bang on a 91% pass completion, which is very impressive. 0.43 conceded per game, which, again, is very good as well. Um, as I always like to say, I said it before at the start of the video or the start of the testing. I do believe this is a perfect mixture of obviously defending well, but also because of the amount of possession we actually had and also the pass completion, they sort of link in together. And when you're dominating a game in possession and the team physically can't get on the ball, they're not going to score. We then got over to Kidderminster, I believe is how you say that, in the Vanarama National League North. I saw I get quite a lot of likes and a few comments, so we are definitely going to be testing with these, and hopefully this is the result you want. We managed to come out and win it reasonably comfortably, the Vanarama National League North, scoring 103 goals and only conceding 32. In, ter in terms of the Cups, I mean... It's not the best display, I'm going to be honest, but the main focus was to try and win this league. And we've done it with a few points to spare as well. In terms of the squad, quite a, 
quite a small squad, I've got to say. 34 goals coming in here from Fremantle. Byrne coming in with 24. 20 coming in for Evans. Morgan Smith with 10. 6 for Martin. Lau coming in with 6. 5 for Brown. Hemmings coming in with 5. In terms of the assists, we've got 16 here for Evans. Lau coming in with 13. 12, 8, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 4, 4. So, I mean, this point onwards, I'd argue, is actually quite impressive. I mean, there's several players getting involved in terms of the assistant and also in terms of the goals. If we filter it by this, I mean, we sort of had, you know, four players scoring 10 and upwards. And then even these players here, although they're not loads of goals, obviously they do chip in and do all help out. But in terms of the actual data hub, then general performance, 2.24 goals per game, conceded per game 0.7. So still way under the goal mark and still over two goals per game, which is exactly what we're going to be seeing. In terms of the pass completion, the lowest we've seen it, and I don't know if this is because this, is, this isn't really a league where you can expect to be playing tiki taka based football. Um, and also, put, we probably haven't got the best quality midfield, no disrespect to them. It all depends. It could be a variation of things, but the main thing being, we did come out and actually win the overall division, going up the league, which is exactly what we wanted to do. So overall, a very good season, despite the pass completion, which... I'm going to say still average very highly because of the other free saves that did do so, so well. So this just goes to show you can play this way in the Vanarama. So if you guys are doing low league saves, this is definitely worth a punt. I picked out a random game from Club America against Toluca in what was a 5-0 win. It's going to be a spit of set piece action, actually, that kicked things off with Rodriguez inside of 60 minutes in the game. So that's always good to see. We then get another goal in the 64th minute, roughly, as we look to build up from the wide area. Coming back in central, we can see the cluster of players here, and it's what makes it so good. The reason why we were so good in possession is because of the pass and options. You can see this player alone here. We're going to circle this guy out individually. He could go back here. He's also got this player to play with. What I want to see is this player sort of drift in here as well, but on possibility of him actually going to the Santos. No, it's going to be a little cutback run, actually, which, okay, that's completely opposite of what I thought was going to happen. But I was just pointing out the options that were on the ball, and hopefully we can see that a little bit more from some of the goals. A lot of these goals from this game do look to be quite scrappy, to be honest. But we are going to see a little bit of play coming in here, a good bit of press up the field, and it's going to be quite an easy goal, quite a gifted goal there. So we are going to be sure to run through some more games after this, just so you get a bit, bit of a better understanding. But you can see a little bit of the pass and play here, as you'll see, and that sort of just one-two pass, and then the more of a direct approach as there is a runner in behind and it is going to be Martin who does tuck it away in the 89th minute. There is still one more goal to come from this game as we build up again. A little bit more of a direct approach here into Martin. A great little run from Rodriguez. Is he going to go solo? He's going to go, he's going to go, and he's going to finish it. A rocketed finish in the top left corner in what was a very comfortable 5-0 win. We're not finished there, though. We're going to show one more game, and that is going to be with Flamingo. Now, we're going to start things off by actually... Looks quite a good goal, to be fair. It's a great little ball through there into Hugo. A little elegant chip over the top. And that is going to put us 1-0 up inside of six minutes. There is going to be a goal for them at some point during this, unfortunately, though. But it is going to be David Luiz. It's a very strange-looking David Luiz, I must say. But it's a pass into Sal, who plays it into Eric. Again, we're seeing this midfield pack now. We've sort of got, obviously, we've got Eric, who's a slightly deeper midfield player. It then goes into this player here. And from this point onwards, right, he has still got several options. He could actually, if he sort of cuts in here, he could find the runner from Gabby. It's a great overlap and run here, coming in from Matthew Zinho. But if you say that, which I'm hoping he does find. But we'll see what he does. He goes with Gabby instead. Okay, I kind of rate that. And it does actually end with a goal. So what I was trying to point out there is you've always got the option in this tactic to use the wide areas. And it's perfectly designed for that. But also you are going to be able to play it to the centre forward if there's enough space. Gabby gets a fed to him here again. I'm hoping he's going to find that runner inside. He is. And he hits it first time. It's an awful parry. And it's going to be Hugo that does obviously pick up the rebound. A very gifted goal in my opinion there. But still, we're going to take him. We go again here. A slightly more direct ball over the top here into Hugo. Fail clearance. It's going to be Lucas that picks it up, who just plays a beautiful first-time ball in into Gabby, who this season has been on fire. Not missed a goal, I don't think. I mean, every chance he gets, he scores. You can't really complain. He goes again here, Gabby, down the left-hand side, cuts it back into Felipe Luis, into João Gomez, into Vidal, who hits an off-turn, which is a very interesting approach to actually hit that. And it is going to make it. That was 5-0. They do get a goal, as I say, here. Um, I'm not afraid to show when we concede it. As I say, I'll show you guys everything. The results, the stats, absolutely everything. It's a simple ball in the box, a shocker defender from Louise, and it's an easy tap-in for Valdez. We do bounce back, though, with a free kick here from Gomez. Quite a simple free kick, but one that we always knew he, we always knew he was going to finish it. And that is going to tie the game up in a 6-1 win.
And that leaves us with one more thing to do, and that is to break down Daily's Diamond Tactic. Now, if you have enjoyed this video so far, be sure to leave a like on it, and please do subscribe to the FM Scout channel and comment below on any teams you want to be tested with and possibly any formations slash managers you want to see me try and create. If you do enjoy myself as a content creator, please do come over to my channel. Links are in the description. I'm also on Twitch, so you can come and say hi to me live. A lot of you guys have been coming over. I also do take requests on there as well. But let's break down this amazing tactic. So as you can see, it's very unique compared to a lot of diamonds. A lot of diamonds do traditionally have that sort of two up top style and I wanted to create something different and what I've done to sort of replace that is to have a shadow striker so you are still going to be getting that sort of second play that almost is a striker but not entirely a striker we're going to start things off then so it's going to be built around a custom control possession tactical style a balanced mentality now you could change this if you want to go more attacking obviously you could positive you could go attacking but for me the balance just worked really well thinking about it we did pick up a few draws so if you're noticing that in your saves I would look to go to positive if you've got the right team to do it. In possession, you want standard, play out of defense, much shorter, slightly higher, be more expressive and work the ball into the box. In transition, you want counter press, counter, distribute to the fullbacks and the center backs and take short goal kicks. Out of possession, you want a higher defensive line, a high press line of engagement, much more or more often, sorry, on the press. If you feel like you're conceding too many, we didn't have this issue at all. You definitely could drop this to a standard, but in my opinion, the high defensive line really did work. Now, going over to some of the players, or all of the players, not some of the players, we're going to start off with a sweeper keeper in goal on take more risks. The right back is going to be a wing back on support, stay wider, run wide with the ball and get further forwards. The left back is going to be a wing back on support, dribble more, stay wider, run wide with the ball and get further forwards. Two defenders, two ball playing defenders, both on defend, take more risks and hold position. And on the right hand side is exactly the same. So quite simple instructions for that back line. The aim for this is for the forward or to the wing backs to provide the whip, hence why they're on stay wider and get further forwards and also run wide with the ball. That is why we saw them very, very good overlapping options. Now the midfield, we have got a consistent midfield here. We've got a Volante on move into channels on support. We've got a supportive deep line playmaker on support, shoot less often, take more risks and hold position. We then have a default center mid on automatic doing a little bit of everything. Get further forwards, roam from position and move into channels. We then have a, an advanced playmaker on support, dribble more, roam from position, move into channels, shoot less often and take more risks. And then a shadow striker on attack, shoot more often, roam from position, dribble more, take more risks get further forwards and also move into channels and then an advance forward on attack dribble more shoot more often and move into channels and that is going to be the tactic broken down guys as always if you've got any questions can i play this player here can i change this please do comment below i respond to pretty much every single comment um it's been real good vibes lately in the comment section all positive stuff you guys are getting your requests in which i'm doing my best to fulfill whether that be tactical requests or teams so i am getting around to doing them if you have enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like on it subscribe to the fm scout channel and i will see you in the next one